Hi there. Today we are making a, another uh, side dish or it could be an appetizer. It's going to be a hot onion dip and I've taken one eight ounce package of cream cheese. I've got it nice and soft in this bowl. To that I'm going to add one and a half cups of chopped up Vidalia onions. And I'm going to add one cup of mayonnaise. Get this one, you can see it good. Well, actually first I'm going to add the Parmesan. One cup of Parmesan. That way I can measure it the same. that off. So one cup of Parmesan. Now then, one cup of mayonnaise. And I'm using the light mayonnaise. We're just going to stir this all together. One more ingredient to add though. So it's really only five ingredients. The other ingredient is going to be this. Um, this is black pepper and this is a half a tablespoon. salt because there's plenty of salt, I think, in the um, Parmesan. Ooh, that pepper's making me want to sneeze, y'all. Mm. Goodness gracious. This looks really thick, but when you um, consider that the cheeses will melt and the onion, when it gets done or cooking, it will you know, get more juicy too. So. Just want to make sure you got it mixed together really good. You don't want a big pocket of cream cheese and then another pocket of just Parmesan. Better when it's all mixed together. it and I'm going to um, get a casserole dish out, put it in it and stick it in the oven at 350 for about 25-30 uh, minutes, something like that. So I'll get back with you in just a minute. Well, once again, y'all, my house smells wonderful. Uh, I wanted to show you the um, the onion cast by day onion casserole let me get my hot pads because this is very hot i just took it out of the oven i wanted to show you i wound up putting it in a pie plate and look how it browned it's beautiful and it tastes delicious i took a little bite already i'm gonna get another one out it is so yummy. And I'm just putting it on some thin pretzels. You could serve it on crackers, uh, celery. You could just about eat it with a spoon because I'm telling y'all, it is good. Oh my gosh. I hope this is cool enough. I don't want to burn myself. Mm. Mm.
the Parmesan, the pepper. Oh my gosh. It's delicious. Easy. You know, saw how quickly I threw it together. It's ingredients that you usually have in your house, so try it. I think you'll love it. I'll talk to y'all later. Oh, and by the way, I wound up cooking it for 45 minutes. It took 45 minutes before the top turned brown like this, and that's what you want. So just wanted to make sure you knew that. Alrighty, bye-bye.